what what would you say the biggest like objection objections or struggles or challenges that that coaches have in swimming um you know their biggest problem really is i mean is being it balancing being able to do a good job of balancing like if you're a full-time swim coach like say you swim, do a swim club you work your ass off for a very small amount of like small amount of money like say you make 60k a year right um but you're six practices a week two hours in the morning two hours in the evening plus weight training because like you want to coach these elite kids and it's like I don't think you have to be doing that to make 60 grand a year. You could probably be doing it a different way, incorporating more coaches. I think they're just afraid to afraid of like letting go of the program. Also, we have an issue here too, with everything being like a nonprofit. So when you do like stuff here and it's a nonprofit, you have to have like some, most of the time you have to have a board. And when you have a board, the board's made up of other people sometimes and they can like fire you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, your jobs on the edge there. And so balancing that on how you want to organize your structure. Um, technically ours is a nonprofit, but like me and my dad are on the board, you know, mm -hmm. no really you're not gonna fire myself. Mm -hmm. Um, which I don't know, I don't know if that's highly legal or not, but no one's the IRS isn't gonna like come knocking down my door on uh, you know, oh my God, you're the board of a nonprofit. And it's like, yeah, I make a small amount of money and we zero out every year. You mm -hmm. know, take all my money. <laughs> um so um, yeah. I think they just, the, they, they fear, they fear that they, they, they're gonna, they just can't sustain it, right? Like most of them are high school coaches that do it after school. Um, yeah. and if they are full-time swim coach, then no, not a lot of full-time learn to swim coaches. Um, there's not a lot of, there's like no full-time water polo coaches mm -hmm. like that, like doesn't exist. That's wow. my goal, mm -hmm. right? That's my goal. I'm going to be a full-time water polo coach and make all my money coaching club water polo, which I've never met anyone that does that. It just doesn't make you enough money because people haven't thought about how to make money off of it. Right. Like there's just either you have, you, you just, people just have not strategized to do it. The, the, the system is just, you coach your high school team or you're a club coach for a local club mm -hmm. and you make, you know, thousand dollars a month as a coach, coaching, mm -hmm. you know, a couple nights. There's no mm -hmm. like system in place on how to like do it full time. Mm -hmm. um, that's the big thing, and which I think people could do yeah. if they structured it properly. They just don't structure yeah, yeah. it properly, and uh, you know try to you know get the again. The, also, people don't like own their own pools, which would be like a huge factor. Like I know mm -hmm. people, it's easier to like buy, if it's easier to put up a gym where you can just put up like technically if you have enough fun, not super crazy amount of funds, but you can put up a box. And, you know, pretty easy box with like a basketball, a couple of like a basketball gym or like a little indoor soccer thing, the pool mm -hmm. price and the maintenance on a pool to like own your own pool is significantly different. You'd have to have your club rocking at like probably like a million a year, I would think, to like maintain a pool and do everything mm -hmm. properly, which would be, which isn't unfathomable if you have enough kids mm -hmm. um, and you're turning out the right process is totally, totally possible to do. I'm saying. But, uh. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's those are the, the they, they they I think a lot of coaches get burned out. Yeah. Because it's the it's their second job. Yeah. So that's pretty much most of it. I mean, I imagine that's in a lot of sports coaches are getting burned out because yeah. their second job and they can't make Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. No, no, no professional water polo coaches here in the United States. I know there is in Europe because they have clubs. Mm -hmm. Um so Hungary, uh Spain, um Italy, they have professional clubs, mm -hmm. um, so you can actually be a professional coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And work for a club, but they don't do that here. So okay. Or so when you when you talk about. Uh...